Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Sunday, March 26th, and I literally have no scripture in front of me. I don't have any notes. Um, as I prayed over what to talk about today, it, the answer was very clear to just kind of talk from my heart and tell you what's been going on. Um, I told you maybe a week ago or so, somebody asked about my cough. I have asthma. I've been struggling with my asthma since February 4th. Um, I could tell that it was kind of getting worse. So I had re pre-recorded a bunch of videos for the walk all the way through Wednesday because I could kind of tell that, you know, this, it, it just wasn't going well. Well, Sunday morning of last week, I um, ended up at, at the emergency room and I was admitted and I just got home yesterday evening. So I am back in action. The walk is back. I'm sure you noticed that I shared an older video on um, WordPress and on Facebook because I wasn't able to record. I didn't want to record while I was in the hospital. But what God really did through all of this is absolutely amazing. Here I am, I'm in the hospital, I'm struggling to breathe, I'm not feeling well at all. And God showed me so many amazing things. So many different people came into my um, area and, and just, it kept showing me the, the importance of being willing, just plain being willing, being willing to show the love of Jesus Christ at just a moment's notice. And that means putting yourself to the side. That means saying a kind word in that moment. It, and it, it's just amazing how others were encouraging me, how I was encouraging others, and how it was all coming together. And as I was going through this, I asked one of my friends, I said, would you be willing to do a video for the walk since I'm in the hospital? And she said, yeah, let me pray on it. And you know, whatever the Lord shows me, I'll, I'll do it. And as we did that, she she said, you know, I keep hearing this word vessel, but I don't feel like I'm the one that's supposed to do it. I think that video has to come from you, Maggie. So as I prayed over this and I prayed over this, it is, it's about being that empty vessel. If you've got a vessel that's filled with, I've got to do it this way, I've got to do it that way. It's got all this all these parameters and all these restrictions your vessel is not filled with the Holy Spirit. Your vessel is filled with the spirit of religion. And that is a demonic power. And we have to be aware of that. It was very hard for me because I am so committed to the walk. I am so committed to being relentlessly obedient to the Holy Spirit. I had it in my head that the walk had to be Sunday through Friday. No holds barred. I got to find a video. I've got to come up with a video. I was putting up an enormous amount of pressure on myself. And God said, no, sit back, replay this one video. He showed me exactly which video to, re to re-share on Facebook and on WordPress. And don't worry about Friday. There's going to be no video on Friday. And that's okay. You bask in my presence and you let me fill you. Well, lo and behold, Friday evening, exactly at six o'clock, which is when the, um, the, the uh, Jewish people would light the candles, marking the beginning of the next day and saying that this is a new dawning of a new day. At exactly 6 to 6.30 on Friday evening, all that congestion, all of that pressure to, to struggle to breathe opened in my chest at, within that half hour. There's no way that was an accident. That was 100% the Holy Spirit. When I relented and I said, I've got to stop filling this vessel with that spirit of religion and I need my vessel to be filled with the Holy Spirit, I got better and I got released from the hospital. And that's, that's how God works. That's how God moves. Think about your body. Your body is a vessel. And if you're filling it up with, I've got all these rules, I've got all these limitations, I've got all these, these things that I've got to, got to, got to, got to, you're full of the spirit of religion and you need to rebuke that. And you say, get out of here in Jesus name. I am filled with the Holy Spirit and only the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to follow him and him alone. As you go into your prayer closet today, give yourself that gut check. Are you letting him fill you? 
Or are you letting that spirit of religion creep in? Because it's so easy to get stuck in a rut and do it the same way every single time. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.